Hi Tubers, here's this little GX160 that we've been working on for our mini bike project and I said in the last video that we were going to go ahead and get our cylinder head and our rocker arm assembly on. I have gone ahead and done this and uh, one of the things that I mentioned in my last video was is that we were trying to help out a young man that had purchased some performance parts off the internet uh, him and his dad are building a go-kart and uh, and had numerous problems when it came to uh, the engine. Um, one of the things that he had mentioned to me was is he had, he had purchased an aftermarket spark plug um, from uh, a company. Uh, it was a racing plug that uh, they had sold him and when he put it in the engine um, he found that the engine wouldn't turn over. Um, we did go ahead and purchase one of these plugs and they are an Autolite uh, spark plug. They are um, an NAR3910X plug. And guys, if you are putting one of these motors together for a uh, performance bike or a go-kart in a racing situation, um, if you have the head planed off or have gone with a, a thinner head gasket, a copper one. This is a stock head gasket that I did put in this engine. And what we did find is that when we tried this plug in this engine with even the stock head gasket and nothing shaved off in the head, the spark plug does hit. There is uh, crush washers that you can buy for uh, underneath the lip of the plug and this will bring the plug up in the uh, the head without these crush washer guys if there's any work done at all to the cylinder head the plug is going to hit the top of the piston and create a real problem um, I also said in an earlier video that we would go ahead and get our rocker arm assembly on and we have done that um, to set your valves in these engine guys um, what you want to do is you want to rotate the engine in the direction that the engine runs and bring it up on the compression stroke. Once you bring it up on the compression stroke and you verify that, bring your engine up to top dead center and simply use a couple of feeler gauges. Your intake valve, you want to set it at two thousandths and your exhaust valve at three thousandths. Um, once you've established that uh, a good clearance in your valves and a good static fit with your feeler gauges, rotate the engine in the direction that it runs a couple times and recheck them. Um, they recommend that you don't uh, do valve clearance with the engine hot, um, but make sure that it's cooled down. Um, we have a bunch of other performance parts that we've purchased for this engine and we'll go ahead and get them installed as well. If you have any questions about the performance stuff, um, I did mention in an earlier video that we were helping a, a young lad out that had purchased a, a bunch of stuff off the internet and had a whole bunch of engine problems. Um, if you have questions, uh, leave me a comment or drop me an email at oldenginecan at gmail.com and I will try to help you out the, the best that I can. And uh, we'll go ahead in the next video. We'll do a bunch of mock-up on this engine in our little mini bike frame and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching guys.